Hello again Year 6. So today we're going to be looking more at relative pronouns. So remembering yesterday's lesson, we looked at possessive pronouns and relative pronouns. Keep those possessive pronouns in your heads because you may well need them for this session. So first of all, just to recap, can we have a go at this question? So it says tick whether the underlying pronouns are relative or possessive. So we've got Sam put, the put on the coat that he had had for years. She didn't want Claire to eat all her chocolates. Gemma grabbed our suitcases as we left. Polly, who had been waiting for hours, sat down to rest her legs. Okay, so what I would do, I would put one, two, three, four down the side of my paper and I would write next to it relative or, poss or possessive to show which pronoun it is. Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, let's have a look at the answers then. So that is relative, her is possessive, our is possessive and who is relative. Well done if you got those correct. So let's remind ourselves then, what is a relative pronoun? So we can think of some examples. We've got that, who, which, where, when. Some examples for you. What are they? What is their purpose? So a relative pronoun is a word which is used to refer back to the nouns that have been mentioned previously in the sentence. They are used to introduce a relative clause. So remember, they come after the noun that they are referring to. Can we identify the relative pronouns here then? So I've given you a clue because I have already said them. So we've got where, there's her, his, who, which, that and mine. Can you identify what kind of pronoun the other words are too? You don't need to pause the video for this one. Just think about it and do it in your heads. Okay, let's have a look then. So our relative pronouns are where, who, which and that. And then the other pronouns are her, theirs, his and mine. And they are possessive pronouns. Well done if you manage to identify those two. Okay, so what I would like you to do now is I would like you to underline the relative pronoun in the two sentences below. So we've got Jolie's mum, who is a great baker, told us to take whichever buns we'd like. And we've got, there isn't a day when I don't feel rushed off my feet. Pause the video and have a go at identifying the relative pronouns. So we've got who in this one and when in this one. Well done if you got those correct. So again, what I would like you to do now is I would like you to place the appropriate relative pronoun into each of these sentences. So we've got, I will hire a new teacher I feel is the most suitable after the interviews next week and my cousin's grandma is a published author tells us the best stories at bedtime whenever she babysits us. Pause the video now and have a go at those please. Okay let's have a look at the answers then. So this first one is slightly trickier. So we've got whom. So I will hire a new teacher whom I feel is the most suitable after the interviews this week and my cousin's grandma who is a published author tells us the best stories at bedtime whenever she babysits us. Well done if you got those two correct. Don't worry if you struggled a little bit on this one because it was rather tricky. Okay, let's move on. Anton thinks that he has underlined a relative pronoun in the sentence below. So we've got Ali visited the supermarket where he was hoping to get a job. So the underlined pronoun is he. Anton thinks it's a relative pronoun. Is he correct? Explain why. So what I would like you to do here, I would like you to make sure that you are remembering yesterday's session in order to help you answer this question because it will help you to explain why. Pause the video now and have a go at this question, please. Okay, let's have a look at my answer then. So my answer is Anton is incorrect. He has underlined a possessive pronoun. 
A relative pronoun should refer back to the previous noun, which would be supermarket. So the relative pronoun would have been where. Okay. So if we're referring back to the noun that has been used, it would be supermarket. Okay. So that's the noun that we're talking about. So the relative pronoun would refer back to this supermarket, which would be where. So where would be your relative pronoun? Well done if you got that one correct. For your last task, what I would like you to do is I would like you to look at this picture and use it as a stimulus for a short story. I would like you to write me a short story ensuring that you include some relative pronouns. Okay, so the relative pronouns are here to remind you. So we've got who, where, when, which, that and whose. And I've given you some ideas here about what you could uh, write your story about based on this picture. So you could write it about an alchemist, some who works with potions, about witchcraft, or you could even write it about a giant. Maybe these are the giant's um, medicine bottles. Yeah, can you see how they're larger than all of the trees? Which makes me think it could be a giant. Okay, when you've written your short story, please take a picture of it and email it to me. I'm very interested to see your ideas. Good luck, Year 6.